that's what we do. Let's dive into this one. Hi everybody, today we are on day siete or seven of our 30 day crazy gringo challenge video a day review. Today we'll be reviewing Shazam, a 2019 movie. So without further ado, let's look into this one. So we have this orphan that has no place, no home, nowhere to go, no place to belong, but he is inherently a good character. When he is called upon by a wizard who is going around some calling children to see if they're worthy to receive his power, Shazam, to become a superhero. A character kind of like Superman. He's like Superman, but he can manipulate electricity. And apparently he also uses magic instead of what Superman uses, which is not magic. I guess he uses physics or something. <laughs> that makes quite much sense. I think it's all kind of magic and hooli hooli. He is picked because he does a good deed. We didn't have to do a good deed. It's a classic Shazam story. If you guys know Shazam, it follows his creation story again, but it's live action. And he gets the powers. He then finds a family and he's battling having new powers, having powers, and getting adjusted to a new family. And that's kind of the overall theme. We also have the villain, which is kind of his opposite, someone who didn't get picked and is embittered and angry and found another way to gain the opposite evil powers. And so that's kind of the, uh, the overall theme of this movie. The deeper meaning of this one is family. And I noticed any movie that has a family focused theme feels kind of Christmassy. So I think that's kind of what a Christmas movie often is. It's about family, finding family, finding people who care about you, finding friends who care about you, and helping each other out. This one has that theme for sure. This character could not do what he was able to do without having that connection with family, without having a family. We need family. Now, thank God, family doesn't have to be a family of origin because some people have really cruddy families. Obviously, you don't want them. But you, in this today's society, we can find other people who need a family or need a close friend, and we can create our own families. We don't need to stick with our family of origins. Opinion of this movie. The bad. Always let's start with this bad. The bad, I would say, the movie, like a lot of times, they go a little bit into the fighting too much. You could say, okay, enough already. Let's get moving on. Let's get some more story developed. I would have liked to see that. Um, Over-dramatization of how scaredy cat he is uh, with, with being a young man and dealing with adult things, that got a little bit ridiculous. The other thing is Dr. Servana, played by Mark Strong. I just... Maybe he's played too many comedy things or something. I don't take him seriously as a villain. I'm like, dude, give me a break. I don't believe you. You seem weak. You seem dumb. I mean, I know you're kind of a nerf version for Shazam because he's a kid, supposedly. But you're just not that impressive. I don't know. I was unimpressed with him. I think they could have done a lot better with him as a character or someone more aggressive. Or I know in the other Shazam cartoons or in the comic books a lot of times, uh, it's like Black Adam. And that's kind of an interesting thing. I guess they're just trying to take a different angle on that one. The final thing that really kind of I liked, obviously, because I'm like, that's key. But when I think about as far as for the universe as a whole, the DC universe as a whole, I'm like, DC, man, you guys are messing up your movies. Like, you just make decisions. They're like, why are you so into overpowering characters? If they're overpowered, there's no challenge. That, or you got to make a super powerful now, and then nerf them out later. And that's just pulls me away from the movie. It's like, well, you were super powerful a second ago. Now, when there's 20 of you, you're easy to defeat. I can't stand that. That bugs me. And this movie, it's kind of set itself up for that. Now, I know I kind of tore into this movie about some aspects, but it's a fun family movie. I did enjoy it, and I, I do recommend it. I do think you guys, I think a lot of people would enjoy this movie. It's a fun comic book movie. I mean, what do you want? Get a soon, a soon comic book movie, okay? A lot of the DC movies are insanely, insanely dark. They're so dark, it's like, oh God, I feel depressed after watching that. This one doesn't do that, and I appreciate that. This one has the family feel. I feel like this one could be, 
don't know about you guys, but a lot of times we'll pick a movie series. It was Harry Potter for a long time. We got so sick of watching it, but it was what we watched before during Christmas time to kind of get in the mood for Christmas. I think Shazam could be on that list of things we get ready for Christmas to watch. So yeah, it's that kind of movie. The adult Shazam, Zachary Levy. I like him a lot. I liked him a lot in that movie, that show Chuck. He was really funny. He's in this now, but he's all buffed up. Kind of reminds me of Jim from The Office, in a way. The actor that played the kid, Shazam as a kid, does a really good job as well. He's entertaining as well. There's also a kid that's his, that Shazam's step, uh, like adopted brother, who's really funny. I kind of maybe would have liked to have them switched. I don't know. I kind of think that kid does a really good job. He's a good actor as well. It's not something to consider. But overall, I really like this movie. Before I give my opinion on this movie, let's go 1 to 10. Please remember to subscribe, like, and leave a comments. And without further ado, I give the 2019 Shazam a 6.5 out of 10. 6.5 out of 10. Peace! Yeah, boy.